this morning's little arrangement without or with a little bit of salvia. Sometimes I think they need a secondary colour as well as the white and green. Our cosmos are doing really well at the moment and you have to keep snipping them so they keep growing back and you'll get more and more blooms the more you pick. I'm going to take these to Hayley this morning. I think I'll be her first client of the day. I'm getting my nails done before a really lovely day ahead. Um, so yeah, she can enjoy those and her clients can enjoy them for the rest of the day. Good morning, my darlings. A proper good morning. Um, gosh, I look very tired this morning, which is funny because I actually don't feel that tired. I slept very, very well last night. Um, despite the temperatures, it's a glorious day today and we have got a really amazing day planned. Today I'm heading, first of all, I'm going to see Hayley, as I mentioned, to get my nails done, which is great because they are super grown out and because they're a dark color, it's very visible <laughs> that they're grown out. Also, both of my middle fingers have completely broken. But I'm gonna do a very quick morning skincare get ready with me this morning already. I have double cleansed using my micellar water and my cleansing balm. I feel on the edge of sneezing. But very excitingly, Elemis have relaunched my discount code with them, which means that you guys can get 25% off your favorites. So to celebrate that, I'm going to apply some of my Elemis favorites. And also, I'm gonna try something new. So this is their Pro Collagen Morning Matrix. I'm a huge fan of their Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I think it's probably their bestseller. It's a global, worldwide bestseller. This is designed specifically for modern day requirements. So I'm gonna start just by popping a little bit in the palm of my hands. There are ingredients in this which are combating the aging effects of technology. So if like me, you spend 90% of your day on a computer screen or on your phone screen, Oh my gosh, sorry, I had to just <laughs> get that on my face. My skin loves Elemis products. They just feel so good when you're applying them. Elemis have got that real perfect balance between skincare and science. You can tell that they research what our skin's needs are in such depth and the ingredients, for example, let me tell you about the ingredients within this. Morning Matrix Silicone Free Anti-Aging Daytime Moisturizer improves the feeling of firmness and elasticity, reduces the visible signs of tension and fatigue caused by modern day stresses such as blue light. And on their website, it doesn't just list the ingredients, it actually tells you what they are good for. So we've got loads that I've never heard of before. I've heard of microalgae, helps protect the skin from stress single, singles, signals, <laughs> stressed single people, and visible aging for a smoother, more radiant complexion. Turmeric to support the skin by protecting collagen and elastin from stress-induced de degradation. Love that. Um, Padina Pavonica Ferment, promoting a revitalized looking complexion while helping minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Oh my gosh, there's so many. But the Pro Collagen Marine Cream is a global bestseller for a reason. I know, in fact, I think all of my like family friends that are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, they all use the Pro Collagen Marine Cream and they have done for years because it is so blooming good. Um, did I even mention what the discount code was? It's Josie F25 for 25% off your full sized Elemis favorites. I would highly recommend, of course, picking up one of the Pro Collagen um, cleansing balms. Just the most incredible way of taking off your makeup, but also having the most gorgeous pampering experience and getting those anti aging benefits. What else do I have in my goodie bag? Um, I bought these all up from downstairs so that I could show them to you. Clarifying micellar water. This one is such a good size as well. It always comes with me in my travel bag. Apologies if you watched my Instagram stories because I literally raved about the exact same products but I just wanted to get the word out about the discount because it's very much appreciated with Elemis because their price point is premium, but you really do get what you pay for. Um, the Aching Muscle Super Soak, Charlie's gonna be stealing this from me in about 10 minutes because he's just been into the gym doing some stretching and some yoga because he's quite sore from his personal training sessions. And I'm gonna take one of these with me in the car. Um, I'm probably gonna be in the car for about an hour and a half today, in total. Um, so this, these are their Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Masks. They are my absolute favorite. I can't, I don't know if the vlogs are in the right, order. 
I think the one that you just saw and the one before that were flipped around, but basically yesterday morning was the morning that I woke up at 2 a.m. Um, and I had these on for maybe from 3 a.m. till 4 a.m. <laughs> and they're so good for instantly tightening, brightening and hydrating the under eye area. They make such a visible difference. With things like that, they do feel like such a luxury. It's one of those things where I'm like, oh, is it really worth it? But then when I put those ones on, I can see the difference. And I've said a million times, my eye area is the area that I have the most concern. Yeah, I love them. I'm gonna be taking my mist with me today because it's gonna be hot and we're gonna be outside a lot today. I will be outside most of the day today, but it is so, so important to have SPF 50 on your face every day, whether you're gonna be outside or not. I have got quite a lot on here, but I definitely think I need it right now. I do always take my SPF 50 down my neck as well. Sometimes I cut it from what I'm showing in the videos because I probably pull like the weirdest faces and you just, <laughs> you don't need to see that. And then the final thing that I'm gonna pop on my face before applying a very, very light makeup for today is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. So you can apply just this. You could apply this before your SPF um, in place of your moisturizer. I love it as a makeup base because you'll see now it just gives the most heavenly glow to the complexion and it's got fermented ginger within the formula so as well as it having its own kind of shimmer it's almost like a pearlescent formula the ingredients within it also work to brighten the skin so you're getting a double whammy of brightening and I feel like in summer even on no makeup days just by popping this on the skin gives you the most heavenly glow, but I love it under makeup. And it just leaves my skin looking radiant and glowing, like a golden hour glow all day. So hopefully you can see, I can never tell what shows up <laughs> well on camera and what I'm just seeing in the mirror, but hopefully you can see that's given my skin a beautiful, very natural glow. And that will really show through my makeup. I had it on yesterday as well, because um, I did pop a little bit of makeup on to do an Instagram live. And you really do, and you really do get that glow through your makeup. So while those <laughs> three layers of moisturization sink into my skin, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and I will catch up with you when that is done. Okay, hair and makeup done. I've gone for some really big curls, hopefully they will last and not melt, like no doubt the rest of me will. I've decided to go with this beautiful Lou Gron Seeker dress that I've had for a couple of years, because then I can make it off shoulder and catch the sun on my chest and décolleté area. I think we're going to be, look, Charlie still has not packed from Barcelona. So unorganized, I've popped on my Rattan um, Valentino Rock Studs as always, because I think we might be doing a little bit of marching across a kitchen garden for our event later on today. I realize I have not even told you where I am going today, but after I get my nails done with Hayley, I'm driving down oh, or across to time because today they are launching. When I first read the email, I thought it said veg patch launch, which I was obviously very excited about. I love a veg patch launch. And I thought I should have hosted a veg patch launch at my house. Maybe I still will. Um, but actually it said veg patch linen launch. So you may know that my favorite um, table linen is my gorgeous butter. Wow. I, I'm in a bind. <laughs> is my gorgeous buttercup linen from Time. Um, and today they are launching a new collection and the owner of Time, Karen, she actually sketches the beautiful designs on the linens and it's got radishes, it's got, I think, broccoli, sweet peas, all patterns and sketches based on their kitchen garden or their veg patch. So really excited to head there. But first I'm going to see Hayley to get my nails done. Person is insane. Okay, I have made it to time, just in time. <laughs> Those puns will never get old. And I have gone for just a very classic, uh, this is actually just a couple of layers of the Builder Gel, which really helps to strengthen your nails. So as always, going to be taking a lot of inspiration from the gardens here. I think this is actually a little asparagus. Oh no, or is it a fennel? I'm not sure, but we've been admiring the tiny little baby olives coming through. Let me see if I can find any. I can't say I've ever seen a baby olive before. You can see them dangling there, and they should be ripe and ready by September. Here's the ingredients 
for our lunch, ready to go on the fire pit. And this is where we're going to be having lunch. This is a beautiful new table linen from time. We've got some Cavolo Nero's, some chard on the table. We're taking a little stroll around the kitchen garden and I've just spotted their cardoons, which are so ginormous and it's made me realize I definitely need to move mine them in the middle of my veg bed because they will absolutely take over. time I come into a kitchen garden I always ask so many questions and I'd actually never seen pumpkins grown on mounds before but apparently this is the way to do it I guess it's something to do with the flow of water or keeping the nutrients in one place but these are about the same size as my pumpkins but maybe I need to do them in mounds next year maybe one year I'll turn the entire of the wildflower meadow into a pumpkin patch I'm not sure Charlie would approve of that idea lunch we're making our way through the water meadows and if you look down here this is the water mint and the smell of it is exactly the same as the Bertioli products the lovely breathing balm the hand wash the body balm such a lovely fragrance I think we're heading back towards time everyone in their beautiful dresses and lettuce the sausage dog bringing it up the rear magical experience. We are slowly wandering through the water meadows here at Time. This is behind me the house where the owners of Time live and we're strolling through their meadowland looking at all the different flowers that are growing here from wild orchid, wild, wild pea which I didn't even know was a thing um, and then also in here we've learned about yellow rattle which apparently for farmers in Africa is an absolute nightmare because it reduces the yield of a field however here in a in a meadow it's perfect because it actually stops the grass from growing back quite so much allowing more room for different diverse species so beautiful This day couldn't get any more perfect. We've been invited to have a coffee on the new terrace at the house, at Karen's house, and it is the perfect spot. I'm gonna to have to show you this beautiful garden area. We've got this gorgeous big herbaceous border with alliums, lots of the daisies, oxeye daisy. I can see some catmint down there, it's so beautiful. And then if I spin you around this little walled area, church, oh my gosh, this is just the absolute dream. It looks like a provincial style house, but it's so, so elegant and beautiful, the old tiled roof. And then this terrace has been finished only a couple of weeks ago. These beautiful boxes with the blooms hanging down. Look at this entranceway. Oh my gosh. Vines growing up the house. And these poppies over here. Finishing the day in the barn, and this is their new exhibition by an artist called Kate Friend. Each of these flowers represents a portrait, and they've also collaborated with the antiques business called Lawford's. These are Lawford's uh, sofas, and they've covered them in the time fabric. They look so beautiful. And for our party bags, we're taking little bags of spuds. <laughs> Of course, I can't come to time without a little trip to the store, boutique. They've got so many beautiful new pieces since I was last here. Some gorgeous books, so many new ceramics. I always love these little ceramic veggies. Here's where I got the robe from that I was wearing this morning, popping my makeup on. So many gorgeous designs. And of course, we can stock up on the Bertioli hand and body lotion and hand wash that we now have <laughs> throughout the house. It is the best smelling body lotion and hand wash in the world. And of course the candles, my favorite. 
So this is the full table linen collection. Let's see, the buttercup one over there is the one that I have got already at home. Then we've got the cornflower, poppy, the runner beans, which other ones are there? Broad beans, so beautiful. And then all the rattan pieces and these beautiful new ceramics. So gorgeous. Hello again darlings, well it's a few hours later, sadly I am no longer at time, it was time to go and gosh just the most magical afternoon, I cannot think of a better way of spending the afternoon, it was so lovely, such a great group, oh my gosh we're gonna have some accompaniment in a second by the looks of it. Um, really lovely group of ladies for the launch of the veg patch table linen designed and drawn by karen who joined us for the lunch and her lovely daughter millie both of whom are just so inspirational the business that they have built at time is so incredible whenever i go there i pick up so much inspiration whether it's food inspiration or interior design or garden and it truly was a wonderful way to spend the afternoon we were invited to stay over and have a dinner as well, but we have got a very early start in the morning, so sadly we'll have to do that another time. But I'm on my way home now, and I always keep my secateurs and my gloves in the car so that I can do a little bit of wildflower picking. And unfortunately, it is due to rain over the next couple of days, and a lot of these flowers may flop over and not look quite so good after the rain, so I thought I would come out this afternoon. If you do want to do this as well, I would highly recommend gloves because you can never, without the picture this up, you can never be 100% sure um, what you are picking. And there is actually a variety of plant which looks quite similar to this called hogweed. And for some people, if you get hogweed, hogweed on your skin and then you expose that skin to the sun, it can cause awful blisters. So just always be careful, always make sure you know, definitely always make sure you're 100% sure that what you're picking is um, <laughs> not going to sting you. Lots of you also asked to see the outside of my car as well. I realised I didn't actually show you, I only showed you the interior. Um, well, here it is. It's this beautiful deep brown colour. The colour is actually called Truffle. You may remember that I always dreamt of getting a dark green car with tan interiors. Um, I designed my... Oh, I should have shown you with all the doors shut, shouldn't I? I designed my dream car in those colours, but then when I saw this I thought that's really different um, and very elegant and very timeless. And also I really particularly wanted a Porsche Cayenne um, and I think it really suits this colour. So I'm so, so pleased with my choice. What a beautiful driveway this person has. and I think I have very much picked up a little bit of the sun today. My chest area looks a little bit sun-kissed. I have arrived home to a few deliveries which I'm very excited to get into. I'm hoping there might be a net -a porter order somewhere as well because tomorrow we have to leave home really early. We're going to be in Windsor for the day um, and then we're staying the night at Charlie's mum and dad's house and then the next day we are going to Goodwood and one of the outfits I was hoping to wear to Goodwood is in that net -a porter box so hopefully it might be here. Um, but I've also received some goodies from a brand called Alexandra Miro. I have followed this brand on Instagram for so long and they do the most gorgeous swimsuits in the most fun colours. I just thought this was <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit 60s pin-up kind of style. It's going to look really fun, really retro. And I believe this is the matching little not so little maxi skirt so how fabulous that's gonna look as an outfit together the swimsuit and then this little high-waisted skirt as well really beautiful material it's, it feels like cotton but it can't be surely it feels like the kind of material that will dry really quickly so i can imagine wearing this on a boat day on the greek islands oh my gosh <sighs> days like today make me very excited for a summer holiday even though we just got back from Barcelona. 
Uh, and then a couple of pieces from Holland Cooper arrived. These kind of items are really good when, I know we're skipping ahead a little bit now, but when you start to want to bring some slightly more autumnal fabrics into your wardrobe and yet it's still summer. So this is a knitted v-neck kind of like a tank top. I feel like this is going to be a really good building block versatile piece in my wardrobe. I could potentially try wearing this with jeans, although realistically I'll probably end up wearing this with my brown leggings, but I think with a with a chunky brown belt, one of my Loewe belts, oh even denim shorts, that could look really cool. And then this won't look quite so fabulous until it's steamed, um, but I saw this on the website and it is a ruffle necked blouse with these little fluted ruffle details on the sleeves. Again, I can't even think about wearing something long sleeved right now, um, but when the temperatures do cool down I will try that on for you. And now this next delivery is really random. I'm really intrigued by this. It's from a brand called Zuvi and it's a hair dryer that looks remarkably similar to the Dyson um, Supersonic, which I'm a huge fan of and use every single day. I don't know whether I should say that this is a dupe, Either way, I'm gonna try this out um, probably tomorrow evening It's when I'll next wash my hair. So I'll take this with me to Charlie's and my dad's house and I'll try it. And then I'll be able to really compare this to the Dyson Supersonic because I'm very, very familiar with the Supersonic. So yes, I will nature, nature inspired light care technology. Unlike hair dryers that use extreme heat, Zuvi Halo quickly dries the water on the surface of your hair, leaving the inside cortex hydrated and healthier. Lower temperatures with a fast drying speed. That sounds incredible. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. So I will give you a very honest review and comparison of how this compares to the Dyson, because I feel like that's what everyone is going to be thinking when they see a hair dryer <laughs> that looks like this. <sighs> anyway, Charlie is about to start making dinner and I can't wait to see how our outdoor table looks with the new Thyme um, table linen. I also picked up a, a, another Bertioli candle from the boutique because they just smell absolutely incredible. So I'm going to lay the table, even though it's just the two of us, and um, do my flower arranging. Gosh, what a magical evening it has turned into. It went a little bit overcast for an hour or so, but now it's cleared up and the sun is shining beautifully. It is church bell practice this evening, so we'll have a little bit of a background track, but of course I would like to share with you my loot, my loot from time. First of all though, I need to open up these vegetables um, which have come straight from the Time Kitchen Garden because Charlie is cooking dinner and he's going to do something wonderful with these. So let's take a look. I'm gonna move this beautiful new tablecloth, which I'll show you in a second out the way. So we have got, this looks like giant spinach leaves, could be, or a different type of um, lettuce leaf. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. A giant bunch of radishes. I think mine are probably a similar size to this now, but I didn't grow the long type yet this year, although I did plant some seeds of this kind yesterday, so they shouldn't be too long. Radishes are great for super quick um, germination. Then we have got a kohlrabi, and actually, before today, I wouldn't have known what to do with this, but I was sat next to a lovely lady called Georgie, and I'm going to link her cookbook down below because it sounded incredible. Um, and she was telling me various ways of eating a kohlrabi. The simplest is basically to treat it the same way as a radish. So thinly sliced in a salad is absolutely perfect. And then I believe, it's not a bag of sweeties, <laughs> even more exciting. It is a bag of potatoes pulled from the ground this very morning. So I'm gonna take these into the kitchen and Charlie will work his magic. So now it's time to unbox my wonderful goodie bag from Time. I believe we have a set of the napkins from the new range in here, which I'm going to use to lay the table. I will show you everything once it's all set out. So I'm gonna pop you on a little time lapse to enjoy the church bells while I get the table ready for dinner.
from setting a kitchen garden themed table to heading down to my own kitchen garden. I'm going to just collect a few salad leaves. I think we're having a kind of stir fry, um, but I think everything is wonderful with a light salad at this time of year. My red oak lettuce is most definitely the one which has done the best. I grew all of this from seed, you might remember, back in, was it March or April? It's just so plentiful. So here we go, the table is laid and I've just been down to get some salad leaves and I've added, oh, I've added the radish from my goodie bag, more as a decoration because I'm not sure we're going to need it in tonight's dinner, but that's fine, these will be perfect in a salad tomorrow. So now you can see the full beauty of the table linen, the veggies on here hand painted by Karen and we've got radishes, we've got onions and we've got carrots, Karen said that the carrot was the first thing <laughs> that she that she drew. And then for the napkins we've got onions, radish, um, carrot again, and then this one here that I've not used because we're only three for dinner tonight is the runner beans. They used veggies as a decoration on the table as you saw earlier. Um, not sure that looks quite as beautiful as theirs did in a terracotta pot, but there we go. Side note, I noticed this morning when I did my order that these are currently half price on Ocado. They are from Dalesford and they're half price at the moment and I think these were like 15% off, so I'll leave them linked down below. Just some blooms from the garden. And the great thing about these napkins, the way that they've been designed, is that they're the right size and direction, so that if you choose to tie them like this or with string, then it kind of looks like you're tying together the veggies. It's most um, apparent with the carrots. I think this is probably my favourite one, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Very much suits our surroundings perfect setting for our dinner. And then I've also popped the big and the small single wick and double wick Bertioli candle down here just for a little bit of decoration. I've just opened up a couple more deliveries and both of them have wine inside, which is wonderful news. They also served a glass of the new thyme rosé um, at lunch today and apparently the vineyard is right next to the Whispering Angel vineyard and I have to say it tasted very similar so I'll most definitely be seeing if I can purchase some thyme rosé because how lovely and as you can imagine the bottle was beautiful. So this delivery has arrived from Penguin which is um, the book publisher. This is a book called Summer Fever, Two Couples, One Dark Secret. My goodness, sounds like a perfect holiday read. And it arrived with some Della Vita Prosecco Rosé. Again, darlings. So after a day in the sunshine, I'm going to be using the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm as my double cleanse for this evening. As always, I have used my what do you call it? My face halo for the first cleanse to get all the makeup off my skin. I'm taking a good dollop. Now the rose is especially good after a summer's day because the rose itself is really calming. If I've been in the aircon a lot, or if I've been outside and I've had a bit of sun on my face, even though you've got Factor 50 on, it is still quite stressful for your skin. So the rose is very calming. You can leave this on for a 10 minute nourishing mask, which is really nice to do. It just acts as a lovely hydrating mask, calming the skin, giving you that lovely glow. I like to put whatever's left on the back of my hands. Um, and then when I've taken that off, I will pop on my Skin and Me, then I'll give my skin about 10 minutes. And then I was going to open my new Ultra Smart Pro Collagen. However, I've realized, oh, this is actually the day cream, that this is what Charlie's been using as his night cream. Did you realize you've been using the day cream as your night cream? Yep. Is that intentional? Yep. So that is my post lovely summer day evening routine. Um, I'm not gonna <laughs> go through the whole process with you because 
you know what that looks like. So darlings, I will see you bright and early. We're setting our alarms for half five to leave the house at half six. Um, we're actually taking my mum for a hospital visit. She's having an operation on her knee. Um, so yeah, that's our plan tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Charlie and I have made it. Charlie and I have made it to Goodwood this morning. We left home bright and early at what time? Half past six. Half six. Half six. <laughs> Hence the under eye bags. Um, but we've made it to Goodwood. We're here for the Festival of Speed. So as you may be able to hear from the engine noise in the background, which luckily we don't have too much of right now. Um, there's races going on today. We've just been having a look at some old classic cars, some vintage cars, and um, also some very modern cars. There are some BMW concept vehicles here. Some very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls Royce vehicles, but we're just having a little wander around. We were invited here today by Sky. Um, I'll tell you all about that a little bit later. We're just heading over there now to have breakfast with the Sky team, and then we have got some very fun things lined up for the day. I love this one. photo I will pop it on the screen here but my dad's family used to have a car like this we've got a photo with fear written on the side which is pretty cool so this is the area where all the vintage cars are my goodness it's tiny <laughs> oh my gosh such unusual vehicles so this is an area where we can see some new technology in the vehicles BMW always have some really interesting concept cars have a little look around. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Reserved. Yeah. This is the colour that I'd like my Porsche sweet in. today partly because it is so loud outside by the racetrack and also very very breezy but um, as we are here with Sky very fortunately we're actually allowed into Goodwood House. Also got access to this incredible balcony which has got the most amazing view of the racetrack. I don't believe there's a race going on right at this very second but Circles had a lovely lunch and we're now in this incredible area. So this is for Sky VIPs, which is literally everyone. If you have Sky, you can download the My Sky app um, and you can win tickets to these events or upgrades if you've already got tickets. And I believe we have got the most insane view, oh my gosh, of the racetrack. You can see they've been doing some donuts down there. <laughs> It's very noisy. We're we've, close to the action. We've got a great view of the racetrack, and some of the guys from Sky here are doing a competition where, where you have to name as many car makes as you can in 60 seconds. So we thought we'd give it a go. The previous record before us was 26 in 60 seconds. 
second. Which is still very good. Which is good. very good. But what did we get, darling? We got 34. 34. I think we did well as a team. We did. We, we had a quick discussion of the tactics before we started. You went cheap, I went expensive, and we alternated. Yeah. But then you threw in BMW, <laughs> Mercedes. So well, I... it depends. You got you got more affordable BMWs, haven't you? That's true. But, um, That's true. But no, I'm trying to think what brands we forgot. What's um, funny is... Land Rover to fight middle of it. I can't believe we said Master at the end. Yeah, Master at the end. We smashed it. What we should really have done is focused on European we should have done and Asian. The alphabet. No, we should have done European and Asian. Because all the Asian brands and all the European brands and a few American yeah. brands, and then you're done. Yeah. Anyway. We did well. We did well. Now it's time to go. <laughs> Call the ads. Good morning, my darlings. It is now the next day coming at you fresh faced and reasonably <laughs> fresh out of the shower. I didn't want to end the vlog um, <laughs> just at the races yesterday because I hate when I promise that I'm gonna talk about something in a vlog and then I don't deliver. And I realized um, that I did say that I was gonna talk about the Zuvi, is that correct? Zuvi? Zuvi? Envy? Zuvi, Zuvi Halo hairdryer. I did dangle that carrot, or as Charlie said, or as Charlie says, dangle that cabbage. Honestly, we're such dorks. Any expression, we will just change it slightly. So it's not by the skin of my teeth, it'll be by the skin of my ears. So I dangled the cabbage earlier about talking about the Zuvi hairdryer. Um, and I have not yet even though I've used it twice. So I'm gonna fill you in on my truly honest thoughts about that and what everyone wants to know, comparing it to the Dyson hairdryer, which obviously I have been a huge fan of and using literally since it came out. I worked, um, I had a loan of the Dyson supersonic hairdryer just when it was about to be released. I was borrowing it from them to shoot some content and then I loved it so much that I ended up buying it um, and I've been using it pretty much ever since. But before I go into that, Debrief on yesterday, the most fantastic day at Goodwood. We were invited down by Sky to, I guess, um, raise awareness about the Sky VIP program, not program, um, offering. Sky not sponsoring this video, they have not asked me to say any of this, but it's so good and I feel like so not known about that I'm going to tell you about it anyway. So if you're a Sky customer, thinking about being a Sky customer, you definitely need to listen to this. So basically, Sky, this is the strap line, with Sky, everyone is a VIP, and it's actually true. So, if you have a Sky account, um, and if this doesn't make you want to sign up to Sky, then I don't know what will. And what you want to do is download this one here, the My Sky app, which is different to Sky Go. Sky Go is when you can um, watch and download your programs. My Sky is more of like your kind of admin hub. It's more about your account, but when you go on the My Sky app, you can go to the Sky VIP area and sign up to that. It's free. Every Sky customer can have access to this Sky VIP section. Reminder, <laughs> this is not sponsored, it's just amazing. And I'm like, why doesn't everyone know about this? Um, and within this Sky VIP section, you can enter competitions, you can win prizes. They, I think it was last year, they gave away over two million prizes, which is insane. When we were up on the balcony area yesterday, they so kindly allowed us to take a few photos um, when it was empty, before it was properly opened up. And then loads of Sky customers had won um, either upgrades or tickets to Goodwood and had access to the best balcony area um, right by the start line of the races and they hadn't paid anything for that. So that was just one of the things that people had won um, on the app. I feel like it's so undiscovered that you've probably got a really high chance of actually winning stuff. I know some friends that um, got tickets to Billie Eilish through the My Sky, um, Sky VIP app. Uh, you can win like actual physical prizes. There are some insane things and the longer you've been with Sky, so for Charlie and I, like, let me know at what point you guys signed up to Sky. I still remember when the TV screen was blue and then you would, um, Oh, it's still blue, but you know what I mean, like the blue with the white lines and you'd have to scroll through it, through it, scroll through it. Um, I think we got Sky literally when it launched, so probably, how old am I, 30? Probably, when did Sky launch? I reckon I've been a Sky customer at least for like 15 to 17 years, so I probably stand a good chance of winning some of these competitions as well. But yeah, so if you are a Sky customer, um, definitely head over to the My Sky app and check out the Sky VIP section because it's amazing, it costs you nothing, and you, yeah, literally the longer you've been with Sky, 
the more points you get to enter the competitions. Um, so yeah, incredible prizes. So you could experience Goodwood in a similar way to how we experienced it yesterday. Next year, obviously, or there's so many other things, concerts, physical things, probably like massage experiences. I don't know, I need to investigate it further. So that was a fantastic day. Um, we then drove back to Windsor where uh, Charlie's mum and dad live. And I, okay, so I actually can't remember what, what I've told you at this point and what I haven't told you yet because basically my mum my has been in hospital this week for a, um, a knee operation. She won't mind me telling you she had a half knee replacement, a robotic um, surgery. So she's been in hospital for a few days um, and also a, I'm not going to share too much information, but a very close member of Charlie's family has now been in hospital um, for just over a week. So we, our minds have been elsewhere. We have like physically been back and forth to Windsor, to home, and um, yeah, basically my vlogs have been slightly all over the place. In fact, the end of the vlog that you guys might have watched on Sunday, I'm about to film that because I know that I haven't actually finished filming that vlog, so I'm just kind of cobbling together different bits from different days. So I apologize if this like two week period, the vlogs are all really higgledy piggledy. Um, but yeah, basically we've been here, there and everywhere. So yesterday we drove back from Chichester to Windsor um, to Charlie's mum's. Viv, Charlie's mum had so kindly picked up my mum from hospital because she was discharged while we were at Goodwood. And then we very carefully and slowly drove my mum back. Um, so she's home with us, we're looking after her here now. And so she's got um, a tough week ahead of her recovery wise, but we're gonna obviously take the best care of her that we possibly can do. So yeah, I apologize if, <laughs> I apologize for the higgledy piggledy nuts and um, probably slightly aloofness of these vlogs, but now you know, now you know. You know what you need to know. Anyway, let's end this vlog with a, a very honest, unbiased chat about the Zuvi. So Zuvi, for full clarity, did send me this device but um, I will not let that impact my review in the slightest because, you know, I feel that with the good fortune that I have to be sent these products very often from lots of different brands comes the responsibility to share honest feedback with you guys. Um, even if they paid me a million pounds and it was a rubbish product, <laughs> I'd still tell you it was a rubbish product. Um, I actually don't think it's rubbish, spoiler alert. But what I am going to do, because I feel like it's the question on everyone's minds, um, I washed my hair about an hour ago and it's air drying really quickly because I use the Redken One United spray and I'm a hardcore fan of this and it dry <laughs> my hair dries really quickly. So what I'm going to do, because it's what everybody will want to know, is compare it to my trusty Dyson Supersonic. Um, this is the latest iteration. I've got it in the beautiful navy um, with the gold at the back. So first of all, let's compare size-wise. The Zuvi is about a centimeter bigger in circumference, slightly bigger, um, and also just ever so, ever so slightly longer. So size-wise, tiny bit bigger. I actually think the Zuvi weighs a tiny bit less, it's a little bit lighter, um, and price-wise, quite incredibly, and this is why I wanted to do the review of them both, they are the exact same price. When I checked this morning, they are both currently for sale at £329, which is a very premium price for a hairdryer, but when I speak about the Dyson, I always say, personally I spend hundreds of pounds um, getting my hair coloured, literally hundreds of pounds. Um, it's very expensive. I personally am quite happy to spend a few hundred pounds on an outfit and you wear your hair every day so actually I do think that hair tools that really work for you are a fantastic investment. I find that the Dyson at Supersonic does dry my hair very quickly. Dyson, in my opinion, are the masters of airflow. They have engineered it to perfection over the last god knows how many years and I really trust the Dyson technology. I also love that many of the Dyson pieces are made here in the Cotswolds, did you know that? In Malmesbury, which is a little bit further south than where we are here in the Cotswolds. Um, so, let's talk about the Zuvi. This is the Zuli ha Zuvi Halo. It is made in China, it's a Chinese company. I feel that with the price and the design, they're very much kind of coming after that Dyson uh, market. Maybe you might choose this because, um, 
I mean, you're not gonna choose it because it was any cheaper. I think I mentioned it being a dupe earlier. It's certainly not a dupe when it's the same price. I think it actually, I like the look of this because obviously it's white. I think that's really attractive. I do have the Dyson Supersonic in white as well though. The handle is leather or a leather effect, um, which is quite nice to hold. Um, it is light, so great for traveling, but I have to say, Zuvi, your cable is so short. I mean, that is the total cable. So if you don't have a plug <laughs> underneath your dressing table or if you're traveling, they never have plugs in the right places when you're traveling. So you're going to struggle to get near a mirror potentially with this. So what makes Zuvi different is they say that their technology is inspired by nature. So how does nature dry your hair? Well, with obviously air, um, but also with the sun. So this, you'll see in a second, in fact, I'll just show you. Can you see? Hopefully you could see then, it's lighting up. So it, they say that inspired by nature, they're using light as well as air, as opposed to just heat to dry your hair. So I'm suddenly really self-conscious and <laughs> I have not got anything on my face. I'm gonna pop a bit of lip balm on. I would have put some makeup on, but I put Vita Liberata tanning drops in with my serum this morning and I always like to leave just that on my skin for as long as possible. Um, so yes, inspired by nature, we have got light and I believe it's UV, is it UVA, UVB? Um, using that light apparently to dry your hair. I don't know if that light that's emitted from that is intense enough to dry your hair, but I like the concept. It's apparently more, I'm saying apparently because I'm not a scientist and I can't test this by myself. Um, and I'm not sure. Oh. He Hello, darling. I'm just gonna start breakfast or lunch or brunch, whatever. Do you wanna come see the option with furniture? Yeah, I'll be down in five minutes, just dry my hair. Okay, thanks, Susan. Okay. Yes, I'm not, I don't have the ability to um, check these claims myself, so I'm just going to say apparently. Apparently more energy efficient, uses less energy, and of course it's always going to be better for your hair if it does use less heat. This, uh, from what I've found from the two times that I've used it so far, doesn't get as hot as the Dyson, and yet it is still drying my hair pretty quickly. But as I said, when I use my Redken spray, my hair dries very quickly anyway. So the products that I've got on my hair this morning are <laughs> the Redken spray, and oh, which by the way, you can use my Look Fantastic code to get 20% off, Josie20. You can use that on the whole website, which is amazing. And I love the Weller Oil Reflections Luminous Smoothing Oil, and I put that through the ends of my hair. I'm very much in need of a color and a cut, but these two are keeping my hair in good nick. Right, um, four different settings, care, fast, soft, and style. You can use it just like this. You can use it with the angled styler. And they've also got um, a big diffuser. This is the kind of thing that my mum loves to use with her hair because it's shorter than mine, it's very fine, and she likes to create volume. So this promises faster drying time, shinier and healthier hair. We took inspiration from nature's most common method of water evaporation that occurs every day, natural sunlight and wind, and built this into our patented light care system that accelerates the process for healthier hair. Leaves your hair shiny and healthy, lower temperature, retains twice the internal moisture, locks in color, hair cuticles remain flat for enhanced smoothness and shine, so it's really promising um, that it's not going to over dry the hair and it's saying that overly dried hair leads to flyaways, split ends and breakage. I mean, to be honest, it does sound good and it does work really well. I think my main takeaway would be that if you are using a hair dryer every single day, then this could be a really good option for you. Um, but if you want a quick, powerful, effective blow dry, then I think the Dyson is still my number one. Um, that's just my like first impression. If I had the two available to me to purchase, I have to say my gut instinct is still saying to go with the Dyson. I just feel like I trust the brand so much. They know all there is to know about wind and airflow and they have really become experts in the hair care space. But 
it's nice to see someone else really kind of coming into the market with a product that is good. I'd be really intrigued to know what you guys feel down below. Are you more inclined to go with something new, something exciting, something that does promise um, those things that I've just mentioned? Or would you lean towards a brand that you're more familiar with? I have read so many articles of people raving about this, um, but this is going to sound really mean, but sometimes with magazines, I do know in the back of my head, Zuvi are promising budget. So um, are people writing positive things about it in the hope that Zuvi are going to come along and do a paid advertorial with them? You know, that is how the industry works, unfortunately. So I'm just giving you a totally honest um, feedback and review because <laughs> I'm not saying things in the hope that Zuvi are going to pay me in the future. Anyway, I am going to finish drying my hair. Having a very relaxed day today at home, just continually popping over to see mum. I'm going to take her some plain rice in a minute, that's all she fancies. So yeah, just going to have a natural hair day. So I'm going to use the soft setting and just um, maybe a bristle brush to finish drying my hair. Okay, we're about 95% dry now, I would say, which is all I feel that I need to do on a day like today, when, as I said, I'm just spending the day at home. I did attempt to add a tiny bit of curl with um, my hot brush, hot brush? Um, round bristle brush, but on the soft setting, at least, I wasn't getting enough temperature. So it's dried my hair, but it's not styled it. Anyway, I am going to end the vlog here, darlings. Um, it's probably been quite a long one now with this chat at the end, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I will leave both hair dryers linked down below so you can explore them both a little bit more should you desire. And if you got to the end of the video, please leave the word sky in your comment. And thank you for watching, I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye!